Today we're at the Cooperative Extension Service in the kitchen with Michelle Estrada. This is Cooking with Michelle. Yes, hey, good morning, how Lynn. are you? I'm doing well. Very excited. We're excited to be here. I'll tell you what, I don't know what this is going to be. It looks good. It looks good and it smells great. And we are, have not started yet. Can you imagine I when we finish? I know, I can't wait. Tell us what we have. What are we making today? Well, today we're going to do chicken and broccoli quiche. Okay? Really? But this is like a very the, uh, healthy version. Because, you know, quiche can have a lot of calories. can. But we're going to do it the, he um, the healthy version. Okay. Because we are going to save all the calories that we do have in the crust. We don't need all those calories because we're not going to have crust today. No crust? Yes. Don't be disappointed, please. I'm not disappointed because oh. it looks good. It smells good. But now, some people don't care for broccoli. Well, it's going to be mixed in all the in with all the ingredients. And I don't think you're going to taste this strong uh, taste of broccoli. I love broccoli. Me but too. I do. And but with cheese? Mm, oh, yeah. I really oh, like yes. it. Okay, well, where do we start then? All right, let's look at what we have here. What mm -hmm. what what does the recipe call for? Well, uh, we need four eggs. Okay. And I'm already cracked the eggs because uh, this month is actually food safety month. And mm. we want to be sure that we don't cross contaminate. So, um, because I knew that I cannot wash my hands very often, mm -hmm. uh, that's why we already have uh, cracker eggs. Mm -hmm. And be sure that every time when you touch the eggs, mm -hmm. go and wash your hands, okay? Okay, every okay. time you touch the eggs, go and wash right. your hands. Or any raw food also. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So in here we have the chicken that we already cooked. Right. And one thing that we always recommend, we do not wash chicken. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So we what a we a lot of people wash their chicken, but we do not need to wash our chicken. We leave our chickens dirty? What do you want? <laughs> yes, because it's gonna and the bacteria is gonna be killed when we uh, cook it in the right at oh, the right temperature. So don't wash the chicken. No, don't wash the chicken because every time when we wash the chicken, the bacteria goes everywhere in your kitchen. Okay. Oh. And I know for some people that's like, oh, no, I need to wash my chicken. But actually, uh, you are creating more bacteria around your uh, kitchen when you wash your chicken. So don't do it, oh. okay? Because bacteria wash your can go all around, and especially if you have babies. You know, if you wash your bottles or you have something around, yeah. you're going to be contaminating everything. So that's why we recommend not to wash chicken. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Well, uh, we have frozen broccoli right. that we already cooked and just follow the instructions in the package. Okay. And very inexpensive. That's what I like to get it that way. And it's fresh. So fresh. Fresh. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, also, we have shredded carrots. Okay. And um, you can buy them ready if you don't have the time. Mm -hmm. Or you can make your own and you will be saving a lot of money. Okay. And we also have onions. Onions. If you're going to do this recipe for your children, you don't need to add onions if they don't like onions. Okay. Or you can chop them really small. That way they don't taste the onion. So okay. you can kind of hide the onions. Or if they don't like broccoli, just hide the broccoli, chop it really small. And They'll never know it. That's right. It'll be healthy and they won't know it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we also need cheese, uh, cheddar cheese, and we need low fat milk. Remember, uh, when we use milk for recipes, and we can go to skim milk because nobody's going to taste. That's right. The difference. That's right. And it, this is 1%. Mm -hmm. and, and like you say, you can go to skim, which is right nothing mm -hmm. percent right? yes and we want to cook that with uh with skim milk right or low fat because milk. this will do the same job that the yes. regular that's right pool. and we are saving calories saving calories mm -hmm. all right and we're going to do this recipe in a muffin pan so I, I just love these for those moms that are very busy in the morning uh, we are going to make it there, and we're going to mix all the ingredients, and then we're just going to put it in the muffin pan, put it in the, micro in the microwave, in the oven, and then you let it cool, and then just put it in the, fr in the freezer. Oh, okay. Okay, that way every morning you don't have to prepare any breakfast. You just put them in the microwave, and it's ready to eat. I love this. This is mm, magic. I know. All right, if you'll hold that. Sure. I'll take care of business here. Okay, perfect. I'm so proud of Wayne. Now he washes his hands every time when we cook. <laughs> That's, right. That's great. Okay. 
And this is one of our recipes from the Faithful Families program that we can do at the churches. So if anybody that is uh, watching this show, uh, you can give me a call at 919-731-1525. 731-1525. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, where do we start? Okay. We're going to mix all the ingredients. Which is, okay. Which is all right, here uh -huh. you go. So we're gonna put all the eggs there. Put all the eggs in. Mm -hmm. All right, right into the bowl. Yes. Into the bowl. How big is this bowl? Well, like uh, a twelve like inch. Twelve inches. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Okay. So, do I break them up? Yes, please. Okay. Hey, did you hear the one about? I'm breaking them up. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. I'll tell a yoke in a minute. Okay, right, perfect. Just a heartbeat here. Watch mm -hmm. it. Every time. You that's know. fine. That's that okay? fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't overdo fine. it. No. Could bruise them, huh? Yes, yeah. Oh, we don't, don't want that. No, no, no. All right, what's next? Okay, now we're going to put, we don't need to use all the chicken, but just add some. Okay. Uh, now, you, what about, uh -huh. Yeah, don't contaminate I, uh -huh. my chicken, please. <laughs> that's not the first time I've ever heard that, you know. I, I know. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. okay don't contaminate mm -hmm. your chicken. Right. Tell me how much now. Um, Maybe half of that. About half yes. of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and this is a great recipe for leftovers. Oh, okay. okay. If you have any other, like if you have green pepper, that you, yeah. you, you can use that. And Love you see, this. this can be the chicken from last night. Okay. Okay. Mix then, it up? Yeah, mix it up. <laughs> then we're going to add the broccoli. Add the broccoli. How mm -hmm. much of the broccoli? Uh, let's do... A quarter of a cup. A quarter kinda. of a yes. cup. Sh shall I measure? Uh, you can. Yes. Okay, a quarter of a cup. Do I use the same? I use the chicken. Yes, and and this is okay for you to use that one. But normally we use this cup for liquid. Oh, okay. Those are for solids. <laughs> Sorry, no, I okay. know. It's okay. It's okay. I hear that all the time. Okay. Uh, uh, it's okay. Okay. That's one cup. Oh, I can, uh, let's do one, one cup. cup. Do, a, do a whole cup. Yeah, let's okay. do the whole cup. Do, a whole... do you want me to help? Would you? All right. Okay, a we're going to make a mess in here. That's okay. I'm a messy guy. Okay. All right. One whole cup of broccoli. That's good. Oh, yes. boy. I love broccoli. Okay, just pour it in. Mm -hmm. All right, now I will mix it up. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Can okay. I take this? that big thing in here that is here yeah we don't want this okay <laughs> it was too big is it okay to take that out yes okay. i prefer to do that <laughs> you're kind of picky aren't you a little bit <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's okay. okay all right okay let's do a little bit of carrots and maybe one spoon maybe one spoon of carrots of these. all yeah. right there you go one spoon of carrots Okay. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Is that is that enough? Yeah, that would be fine. Okay, very we good. We just need some color there. Just some color. Mm hmm All right. And the onions. Onions. Okay. Do you uh, like onions? I love onions. Okay. Yes. That hmm? would be fine. Okay, mm -hmm. good. But we don't want to uh, overdo the onions because right, some people be. don't like mm -hmm. them. Don't like the taste of them. So you kind of try to hide them in here. Is that right? That's right. So you cut them very small. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that we're missing is the cheese. And that will be, well, the cheese. The cheese and also we're missing the garlic powder. Cheese and garlic. Okay, mm -hmm. here's cheese. How yes. much cheese? Well, that's depend on you. But remember, cheese is full of calories. Oh, a yeah. lot of fat. Oh. And, and we have low fat cheese in here, but that's okay. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. A little more? A little bit more. A little more. Okay. Yeah, I love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know there's a lot of calories in cheese? Oh, yeah. I don't, we're tell, using... don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but we're using low-calorie cheese. That's right. There you go. So it's and okay. if we're going to have these for breakfast, we need energy. You need the energy, yes. right? Okay. I think that's go. great. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Look at how pretty it looks. It's beautiful. All those colors, the greens and the, and the, and the oranges. And... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. okay, now we just need to add some pepper, pepper. and the, uh, uh, the and, garlic. And pepper and garlic, mm -hmm. okay. Pepper and black pepper right here, mm -hmm. okay. Oop. It's a... I think it's just... Yeah, Oop. 
Mm-hmm. All right, how much of the pepper do we have? I just do it. Just a mm -hmm. typical. I think that's good. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the garlic. The garlic. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, the garlic. I just love to... garlic. But you need a little bit more. Go. <laughs> <laughs> that's good? That's good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Garlic, just a Yes, a and of, I let you mix pepper. that. Mm -hmm. well, that was a pinch of pepper. That's right. Uh, a little over, maybe a couple of pinches uh, or a dash. A dash. Yeah, I remember you taught me that word, Did a dash. I? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Did I tell you what it meant? No. <laughs> I didn't. You just show it to me like a mm. dash. <laughs> hey, I wish I knew what I meant by that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay boy, this looks great. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we haven't put the milk in yet. That's right. And okay. we need Where does the one lid? cup. Oh, that's the eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. One cup of milk. Mm -hmm. Does it go in now? Yes, you can put it now. Okay, mm -hmm. one cup. And I will use this because this is the liquid. Good job. Thing yes. in the lob here. Huh? Perfect. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh -huh. Shake it. Shake it. <laughs> How much? One cup? One cup. And you see, with this measuring cup, you don't need to hold it. Because that's it. what is made like this. Oh, that yeah. way you know. At an angle. Uh-huh. I can easily read. Right. Yes, okay. I love all those kitchen gadgets. That I you know. Mm -hmm. How about you have a lot of gadgets? Yeah, I try not to spend too much money. If not, Kevin gets upset with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, just don't tell Kevin. Okay. You know what? Now that um, the consistency is, is very liquid, yes. so we can add more vegetables. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It is kind of, you would almost have to drink this. Yes, right? okay. and we don't want that. No, we don't want that. Mm -hmm. All right, we want it more, more uh, or less, think, less liquid. Yeah, let's put more broccoli. I more think broccoli, it okay. All right, we're going to put more broccoli. How's mm -hmm. that? Tell I me. think that's good. Say when. Mm -hmm. Keep going. <laughs> okay. I think that's good. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, and now more chicken. More chicken. That would be chicken. great. Chicken is good. And you see, and depend is what you have at home, because we don't want you to spend a lot of money. Is if you have more vegetables in meat, just do more vegetables. Mm -hmm. If you have a lot of meat, just use the meat. So, like you said, this is good for leftovers. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have in the fridge is left over. From right. All right. You see, it's looking better. It is. Mm -hmm. How about more? Jeez. <laughs> She, she said cheese, more cheese. Here we go with the cheese. Huh? I think that's good. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And what's the name of this again? It's a chicken and broccoli quiche. Quiche. Mm -hmm. okay. But remember, we don't uh, make a, the crust. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is this the is healthy a version. A crustless quiche. Yes. Okay. Okay, right. now I think it looks really good. It does look good, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah. All right, what is that? So now we're just going to oil our um, muffin pan. Oil the muffin pan. Yes. Do you want me to do it? Or you it want does that have it? the right consistency there? I think that's good. Okay, mm -hmm. well, you go ahead and, and do the muffin pan okay. because I'm not very good at spraying uh, things. Me either, but that's okay. I'm making a mess so already. You, that's okay. So you just spray into each little pocket. Yes, and really, this one is uh, nonstick. Mm -hmm. You don't need it, but because we're on TV and we're going to do this quick, <laughs> I just want to be on the safe side. <laughs> okay, be on the safe side. You yes. don't want anything to go wrong here. That's right. <laughs> but really, if you have a nonstick pan, you don't have to You don't to have do to it. do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to use this spoon and we're going to fill each. Um, use this spoon. Mm -hmm. And fill because, each. Mm -hmm, because it will be so much easier for you to use that. Okay. And don't worry about the liquid. We can add the liquid at the end. Oh. And don't try to fill these too much oh. because they're going to grow a little bit. Is that too much? Uh, I think so. It's too okay, much. it's too much. Mm -hmm. Whoops. I'm going to make a mess. Well, we know that you're a messy guy. I'm a messy guy. <laughs> You've been talking to Pat. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She knows that. She knows that, yeah. Oh. Okay, let's try it. Uh, okay. And it's not, you don't have to get so much liquid. Right, we can add the liquid at the liquid end. Liquid can be added. It made That's your life easier. That's a good one right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did good. I need things to make my life easier. Me too. Yeah. Money helps. Well, not all the time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, just a little bit each in each one. You're doing so good. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Uh -huh. You see, and we're going to have a lot of kishes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. That's the way you will say it. I don't know. Okay. A kish? <laughs> Mini kish? <laughs> I'm not going to make any jokes. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. No, now okay. I'm the one that is making the joke. I know. Who writes your material? Um, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny she writes mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's just blame everything in Pat. Everybody else does. That's right. That's right. Okay. And we already uh, we reheat uh, we um, heat the um, the oven to pre preheat pre preheat. Pre Thank you. Sure. We preheat. Preheat the oven to three hundred and fifty. Three okay. fifty. So right. it's ready for us. It is ready now. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Good. All right. How are we doing there? Does that look. You're good. Yeah, yes. Okay. It's going to take almost all of it, isn't it? Mm hmm What do you do with the rest of it? Well, you can make a big one if you want, if you oh, have okay. a container. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I said we can use these for breakfast, but really, even for lunch. I cannot distinguish between breakfast and lunch or dinner. I eat anything I want, anytime I want it. That's good. Yeah, I mean, why not? I know. And, and really, like I said, it's very low in calories, and it's mm -hmm. all good stuff in here. Yeah. I mean, I know you need, you know, when you start your day, you need something with a lot of protein to mm -hmm. kind of get you, get you started, get you going. You don't want to overdo it. but you Right. Can, and usually something like that will have either a lot of cholesterol or a lot of uh, carbohydrates in it, one or the other. Mm hmm and you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to do that all day long either. You're right. Now this is, like you say, this is great for any time of the day. Yeah, all and right. And now let's add a little bit of liquid because we need those add a eggs too. a little liquid because we need the eggs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me move How's this. that? You can do it like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. Just leave a little space on the top. Okay. Great. All right. Am I going to have enough? I think so. Okay. You're concentrated today. Hmm? You're so concentrated. I, yes, yeah. I have learned I need to concentrate. Okay. <laughs> it helps me stay awake. <laughs> Please, woke mm. up. <laughs> okay. Okay, getting closer here, mm -hmm. close to the bottom. Okay, and I will just take and pour, That's good. if I may. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're doing okay. so good. Well, how about that? I got lucky here. All right. Maybe we can add a little bit more of um, the. Bit. Uh -huh. Okay, to that right there. That's great. Okay. It looks really good. It does, and it smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. Can the folks at home smell this? Hmm. Maybe if I hold it closer to the camera. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. You said it's going to rise a little, right? Yes. Okay. That's why. Okay. And I can open the oven for okay. you. Open the oven. Do I need uh, uh, oven gloves or anything? I uh, know yet, but when we take it out, take it out. Yes. Okay. All Put right. it on the top. On the top shelf. Okay. Is that okay? That's good. Okay. So, and we're going to put 10 to 15 minutes, but how we're going to know if this is ready or not? Do you know? 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it may not be ready. So how do we know? How do we know? Do well, we know? remember that I said that we were celebrating food safety? Food safety. Yes, yes we need a thermometer. Oh. Yes. Do you know what is the safe internal temperature for eggs? Oh, sure. 
Ninety-eight point six. Oh wow, one hundred and sixty. <laughs> oh okay. One hundred and sixty. Yes, and um, you know, if people has any questions about what is the internal temperature for meats or for egg, mm -hmm. or they can call the office and we can give them that information. But for eggs, it's mm -hmm. one hundred and sixty yeah. degrees. Yes, and we need to be sure that we have a thermometer at home and that we are using it because a lot of people they have a thermometer but they don't use it. And we need to be sure that we're safe. Do you have one? Yeah, but not for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we're just going to wait. I need to wash my hands again, don't I? That's <laughs> right, because you have been touching the egg. Uh -huh. I'm just going to put the timer. Okay. And I'm going to put 10 minutes. All right. We just checked the, uh, or heard the uh, timer stop. So we're going to open the oven. Okay, and it's it, not, has it, it doesn't look ready. It doesn't look ready. Okay, no. so we're, we're going to put the uh, timer, mm -hmm. I mean the, uh, yeah, so you're gonna, not even going to use that, are you? No, because it's not. It's not ready. Okay, so we're going to go for what, another five minutes? I think it needs more. Okay, well, let's go for another ten. Okay. All right. Okay. And that way we'll know. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a look now at our work. I did that on purpose. Uh, yeah, That's the, the, right. The, the, the beep, 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 beep. There you go. All right. It seems to be time. And we cooked this, what, 20 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what we have here. Okay. All right. Does it, wait, 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 you go ahead and stick That's the fine. thermometer in there. Okay. Now, how long does it take? Very quick. Very quick. Oh, boy. It's going right on up there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is ready. <clears throat> it is ready. Let's try different ones because we want to be sure that they're all cooked. Uh -huh. And this is a, a should be at least 165, and I see 180 mm -hmm. something. Yes, we're good. <clears throat> they indeed look really good. You see how it's different temperatures? Yeah, 175. And be sure that you don't touch the metal. If not, the temperature will not be correct. Don't touch the metal. Yeah, when with you, the thermometer. Yes, that's right. Okay, now right. All right, look at that. All right. <coughs> okay. And off. Okay. And we may need All to right. use this knife. May you need to, to use the knife mm -hmm. to uh, cut around. Let's and go don't to. Don't scratch your um, pan. It's, yeah, that works kinda really good. Does it? Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's just as loose as it can be. Yep. All right, how, how do I get it out? <clears throat> you want to use the okay. fork? Oh, that looks so pretty. How about that? Look at that. Oh, boy. That look, mm, smells good, too. Mm -hmm. There you are. All right. Yes. Whoops. Let me, uh, Let's see, maybe <coughs> the knife. And it's loose. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Right. And it is nice and hot. Look at those colors. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Huh? Is that good? Okay. Right. Now we wait for it to cool, I'm sure. Yes. Please right. do it because last time. I you burned your mouth. Didn't? Yes, I do remember. <laughs> I learned my lesson. <laughs> okay, now tell me, while we were waiting for this to finish cooking, you and I were talking mm -hmm. about contamination. Now, yes. <clears throat> the minute these are taken out of the oven, mm -hmm. you have to let them cool before you put them in the refrigerator. Right. While they're cooling, mm -hmm. they're subject to contamination. Right, especially if the food is in the danger zone temperature, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that temperature is from 40 to 140. So from 40 to 140. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to leave food out at that temperature because it's going to bacteria is going to grow, and you have two hours to do something about it. You cannot leave the food more than uh, two hours in the danger zone. And not many people knows that, but if like if you cook a big uh, pot of uh, soup, okay, it's going to take a long time to cool down. Mm -hmm. So you need to um, divide the soup in containers. That way, it cools quick. Okay. So you don't want to use more than two hours. Okay. 
two hours. You have two hours. You have two hours to let it cool and get it in the fridge. That's right. And that uh, helps to control the contamination, mm -hmm. the possibility of contamination. Right. And the only way to kill bacteria, like if bacteria has grown in your food, if it's after two hours, you want to throw that food away. Okay, I know. Oh my I know. goodness. I know. And Throw I, it away? I know. So, okay. But, so the um, trick is to eat it before two hours is up, right? That's right. Okay. But, you know, we know that when we have those family reunions, the food stays there for hours oh, and hours. Yes. We need whatever needs to be cool, that needs to be cold. So whatever is, uh, we need to have, if, if it's hot, we need to keep it hot. That's the only way. We need to keep those temperatures high. Now, we're, we're in, in the midst of the beginning of, of holidays. Yes. And we're talking about, especially in November and December, with mm -hmm. Thanksgiving and Christmas and other holidays, Hanukkah and everything coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to be aware that you have a two-hour window from yes. the time you finish, stop mm -hmm. cooking, mm -hmm. and then put it on the counter until the time that it's time to put it in the fridge. Two hours is all you have. That's right. And, and if we have um, different things that we can use, like those um, chiffon, chiff dish, the chiffon dish, the, um, you know, to keep the warmers, to okay. keep the food sure, warm. Sure. Okay. You can use that kind of stuff to keep it warm. To keep in it the, warm. Mm -hmm. But if you just leave it on the table without anything. Mm. Well, some people will cover it up. Like that's going to help? No. no. It's not okay. going to help because remember that temperature, it needs to be more than 140 has to be more than 140, not mm -hmm. necessarily 165, for, that's for eggs. Right, right. But over 140 degrees. Mm -hmm. and when so we're, if you have these warming dishes. Mm -hmm. And remember, uh, maybe this is a, a little bit confusing. I'm confused. We, I know. When we talk about the eggs, they were not cooked. So we need to cook oh, them no, okay. until it's 165. 165. Okay. You're right. But um, the other food, it's already cooked. Mm -hmm. We know that it's safe, mm -hmm. but it's only safe for some amount of time is depending on the temperature in your room right. if this room is very cold and we just cook something the the temperature is going to drop really quick okay so 140 degrees or warmer mm -hmm. so you keep your thermometer handy right and check it mm -hmm. yes. if okay so if you have something sitting on the counter for two hours mm -hmm. or an hour and a half to two hours and you say ooh I've got to warm that. So you put it on a warming dish, mm -hmm. in a warming dish, keep it warm up to 140 degrees, Correct. and you're good from then on. That's right. It's good mm -hmm. from then on. If, if we have a warmer there, it can stay for a long time. Okay. But if it's just there, sitting, on sitting and mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember when you were eating with your grandparents, like at my house, they left the, the food out all day all day. Long. That's what you all ate day. and that's what you had for dinner. And nobody reheat the food. So bacteria was there and I'm thankful that I'm here. And I am too. But now that we know all the research and we know what is what can happen, we need to try to avoid it. Now I can hear people saying right now, well my grandparents did it, my parents did it, I and I do it all the time. I leave stuff out all the time and I don't have anything to worry about. It's fine. Are you willing to take the risk? Are you willing to take that chance? Food safety Food is in safety. your hands. Yes. Oh, right. When you wash your hands, mm -hmm. when you use a thermometer, right. we, this is something that we can prevent. Okay. You know, many times when we have you know, tummy problems, we can prevent that. Can we say that? Well. <laughs> we did, didn't we? All <laughs> yes, right. we did. All right. Well, we're going to work on this. Okay. Right here. okay. You hold that if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Would I want to see you. No, go ahead. Mm -hmm. go, you go first. Okay. Wow. This is If cool. you survive, I can eat it later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Okay. No, this is safe. This is, this is safe. All mm -hmm. right. Here we go. Eggs oh, and onions and that. broccoli and... <laughs> Is that good? Oh, muy bueno. Mm, mm. Rico. Huh? Rico. It's like yeah. yummy. Oh, yummy. Like uh, rico. 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 You know how to do your R's. Wow. <laughs> Sound like a purring cat. Oh, I know. Rico. 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 Mm. That is delicious. It is. And relatively healthy. Mm-hmm. Well. You have veggies there. Yeah. Egg, protein. Low fat milk. Yes. Uh, yeah. This mm -hmm. is really good. And and and, and one more time. Mm-hmm. This is called chicken and broccoli quiche. That's correct. 
And uh, this has been Cooking with Michelle and Michelle Estrada. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It was wonderful. Thank you.